kind of numb and nervy. Say hello. Hey. Okay, you can go now. You can go now. Another. Okay, fine. Books. These are the books I read in October. First one. Geman Shigeta Zang. I'm not doing these in chronological order. I'm doing these in order from least to most favourite. So this is the book this month that I gave two stars to. Bye, Minavi. It's called Geman Shigeta Zang, and it's by Rainer Tetzner. This is a collection of stories of Greek... Greek of Nordic mythology, Germanic mythology. I picked this one up while I was in Germany visiting my parents and I'm sure it's a really good book. Well, I know it's a really good book if you're interested in Nordic mythology, but I'm not, so I didn't enjoy it all that much. But it is well written, so pick up this little book if you're interested in Nordic mythology and if you speak German. Next up is Shakespeare's Sonnets. I'm giving this one three stars, which is more than I thought I'd give it when I was about halfway through. The thing is, I didn't understand most of the poems. The poems I did understand, I actually quite like. My favourite poem in this is 138. I'm not going to embarrass myself for trying to read it out, but I will link a, a good reading of it in the description box. I definitely want to get back to this one again though, and just give it another go at some point. Next up, another three star book, which I read on my Kindle. Nesthäkchen fliegt aus dem Nest by Else Uri. This is another German one, so apologies for that. This one was written in the 1920s and it's part of a series of children's book about a girl. It starts off when she's, I think, six years old and I'm assuming it's going to end with her in old age. In this book, she goes off to university, quite impressive for a girl from the 1920s, but then she quits after half a year to marry a doctor. You can either have an education or a husband. I gave this one three stars. I think I've given the entire series three stars so far. It's entertaining enough and I'm going to finish it next year, hopefully. Another book that I gave three stars to is this one called The Unwritten Rules of PhD Research. It's by Marion Peter and Gordon Rugg. It's a sort of guide to how to do a PhD, basically, which is really useful to me because I've just started mine and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's been helpful so far. I can recommend it if you are just starting a PhD or if you're going to start a PhD soon and you're just feeling a bit insecure like I am at the moment and just want to know a little bit more about what happens. Now we get to the four star books. And the first one is this one. It's another German one. I'm really sorry about that. But this one actually does exist in English translation. It's called Die Physiker by Friedrich Dürrematt. The English version is called The Physicists. This one was written in the early 1960s. It's a play in two acts, so it's all dialogue. It's very short, it's under 100 pages, very, very quick read. And it's probably the weirdest book that I have read this month. It's set in an asylum where three physicists, patients, are killing their nurses for various reasons. There's a lot of secrecy going on. It's kind of darkly comedic. And at the same time, it explores a lot of themes and issues around things like identity, the threat of nuclear war, which I feel like is very timely at the moment, morality, doing the right thing, and sanity. It's a very interesting read. I can only recommend this. Next up is Robert Webb's How Not To Be A Boy. This is a memoir that was recently published by comedian Robert Webb. I'm not going to talk too much about this because Charlie and I are probably going to do a separate video about this. It's a memoir about growing up as a boy and then becoming a man and all of the stuff that kind of goes with it, all the expectations of what masculinity means, how gender stereotypes impact not just women but also men. And this is all told by Robert Webb in a very personal very frank and very emotional memoir. It's really well written and I can only recommend this. I gave this one four stars. And then the last book was um, the first part of his Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. So the first part called Northern Lights. Oh, I was so close to giving this one five stars. I didn't in the end because I felt like it didn't quite have that five star quality that I'm looking for but it was still an amazing read. Now, this was a reread for me because I read it once 
as an adult. But on a second read, it just kind of gave me so much more and I'm really, really looking forward to finishing the series and then reading The Book of Dusts. And if you haven't read them, which you probably have, then you should. All right, that was my October reading month. It was a pretty good month for me. Reading seven books, that's more than I normally manage in a month. And I'm really happy with most of them. There was only one two-star read and quite a few four-star reads. Hope you had a good reading month as well. We'll probably be back with another video soon. Bye.